He's, a, he's a, an amazing partner. We got to Leonardo DiCaprio has worked with over 100 actors, but only one ever made him furious enough to admit they hated each other. Let's dive into the seven actors DiCaprio thinks are the best and the one he hated. River Phoenix. Leonardo DiCaprio has never shied away from expressing his admiration for River Phoenix. Though their paths never crossed on screen, DiCaprio looked up to River as a symbol of the raw talent their generation had to offer. He once said, I grew up revering River Phoenix as the great actor of my generation, and all I ever wanted was to have just an opportunity to shake his hand. River Phoenix's untimely death at the age of 23 left a void in the acting world, and for DiCaprio, it was a personal loss. Phoenix was the kind of actor who set the bar high, and DiCaprio often found himself wondering what kind of legendary roles River could have taken on had he lived longer. That respect continues to shape Leo's view of what great acting truly means as he honors Phoenix's legacy through his own work. Who do I look like? Little Ricky Schroeder, I think. Oh, yeah, uh, Ricky Schroeder. This one. River Phoenix. Robert De Niro. For DiCaprio, working with Robert De Niro is something that feels both intimidating and familiar. Leo grew up idolizing De Niro's work, which made their collaboration on Killers of the Flower Moon a dream come true. However, that didn't stop DiCaprio from feeling a little nervous at first. During an interview, he explained, It felt like I was coming home. It felt like an intrinsic part of my childhood. Their on-screen relationship in this boy's life mirrored a father-son dynamic that carried over into Killers of the Flower Moon. DiCaprio considers De Niro not only a mentor, but also a huge influence on his craft. It's clear that working with him has been one of the highlights of Leo's career as he seamlessly falls into character alongside one of his childhood heroes, Meryl Streep. Another actor that DiCaprio holds in the highest esteem is none other than Meryl Streep. During the filming of Don't Look Up, Leo admitted that the entire cast was a little starstruck whenever Streep walked on set. He said, Everyone was on their toes when Meryl walked in, as we should be. Look, you get to work with the greatest living actor in the world. Everyone's prepared and we're just trying to keep up with her. Streep's reputation precedes her. She's often described as one of the greatest actors of all time, and for DiCaprio, working alongside her was both an honor and a challenge. Her presence pushed everyone, including Leo, to give their very best. In fact, Streep's ability to elevate a scene with minimal effort is part of what makes her so extraordinary. Kate Winslet Few relationships in Hollywood are as iconic as the one between Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Their chemistry on screen is undeniable, and their friendship off screen is just as special. Reflecting on their time working together on Titanic, Leo said, Kate and I were complete partners throughout the whole project and supported each other so much. Their bond was forged during one of the most demanding shoots in Hollywood history. The pair navigated the highs and lows of Titanic together, building a deep, lasting connection. They've since worked on multiple projects, with each collaboration strengthening their friendship. DiCaprio often praises Winslet for her talent and resilience, and it's clear that she's someone who holds a special place in his life, both professionally and personally. Jonah Hill. When it comes to Jonah Hill, Leonardo DiCaprio's admiration is undeniable. DiCaprio often praises Hill's talent for improvisation, calling him a comedic and improvisational mastermind. Their collaboration on The Wolf of Wall Street solidified their on-screen chemistry, but it's behind the scenes where Jonah really shines. DiCaprio revealed that Hill's ability to make everyone break character was unmatched, turning even the most serious moments on set into laugh riots. Leo didn't hold back when he said, that's my boy Jonah Hill. He admires Jonah not just for his comedy chops, but for the energy he brings to the set, making every scene unpredictable and fun. Hill's infectious humor even won over the notoriously intense Martin Scorsese. 
a rare feat in itself. Daniel Day-Lewis Working with Daniel Day-Lewis is an experience few actors ever forget, and DiCaprio certainly hasn't. For their collaboration in Gangs of New York, DiCaprio got a first-hand look at Day-Lewis's legendary method-acting approach, and it left a lasting impression. When Martin Scorsese suggested DiCaprio approach Day-Lewis to take on the role of Bill the Butcher, Leo wasn't sure if it would even happen. Day-Lewis had supposedly retired from acting, but Scorsese trusted DiCaprio to convince him. After some persistence and a little encouragement from Tobey Maguire, Day-Lewis agreed, and what followed was a masterclass in commitment. DiCaprio has often said, there's commitment, and then there's Daniel Day-Lewis. Throughout the entire nine-month shoot, Day-Lewis stayed in character as Bill the Butcher. DiCaprio recounts how they never exchanged a single word out of character during filming. I don't think I said another word to him the nine months that we were there, Leo admitted. Day-Lewis became Bill the Butcher to such an extent that even off camera, their interactions were rooted in the intense, often hostile dynamic of their characters. It wasn't until the very last day of reshoots that they finally broke the tension, shared a laugh, and acknowledged the surreal experience they'd just gone through together. Jim Carrey Leonardo DiCaprio has never been shy about his deep admiration for Jim Carrey. In fact, he's called Carrey a genius multiple times, which says a lot coming from an actor of DiCaprio's caliber. What sets Carrey apart in Leo's eyes is his unique ability to blend physical comedy with profound emotional depth. It's not just his comedic timing that impresses DiCaprio. It's Carrie's seamless transition into dramatic roles that truly sets him apart. Films like The Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind showed a different side of Carrie, one that moved beyond slapstick humor and into the realm of deeply layered performances. DiCaprio's admiration goes even further. As he told Rolling Stone magazine, I think Jim Carrey is a genius. If he died today, he'd be regarded like Peter Sellers. That's a powerful statement comparing Carrey to one of the most iconic comedic actors in history. Before we get to the last actor, tell us in the comments section, who surprised you the most and who would you add to Leo's list? And now, for the actor DiCaprio famously clashed with Mark Wahlberg, the tension between the two began during the casting of The Basketball Diaries, a critically acclaimed drama that put DiCaprio in the spotlight. According to Wahlberg, DiCaprio didn't want him anywhere near the project. At a UCLA conference, Wahlberg recalled, He didn't want me for the part, and I didn't think he'd be my friend. The animosity wasn't just a minor disagreement. It was intense. DiCaprio's resistance was well known among the crew, and Wahlberg himself felt the weight of Leo's dislike. It wasn't a professional rivalry, it was personal. At the time, Wahlberg was still transitioning from his rap career as Marky Mark to a serious actor, and DiCaprio wasn't convinced that Wahlberg had the chops to pull off a role in such a dramatic film. Their clashing personalities and vastly different backgrounds only fueled the tension. However, despite the initial friction, the two eventually had to put aside their differences on set. Wahlberg has even hinted in interviews that, although the bad blood was real, they later developed a mutual respect for each other after working together. 